What is going on guys? So if you're not really satisfied like many other people are with the latest Apple Maps because it literally quote unquote takes your iPhone, iPad and iPod touch in entirely new directions. I should quote that on Apple. That's what Apple actually said. Anyways, if you're not satisfied with that or if you're not satisfied with YouTube not being in iOS anymore, well, I got some good news, but then again, some bad news. The good news is you can actually downgrade. The bad news, it always seems like there's some bad news with the good news, huh? The bad news is it's only available for A4 devices at the moment, meaning only the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and older. So you're looking at everything older than those can be able to actually downgrade using this method here. At the moment, there isn't any type of way to actually downgrade with your A5 devices if you have already upgraded to iOS 6. So what we'll need first is we'll need to have iOS 5.1.1, the firmware, aka the IPSW. You need to have that downloaded and the links will be down in the description if you need that. Also, we'll need to have the latest version of Red Snow. I'll be using 0.9.14b2. You can also find the links down below in the description for both Mac and Windows. And another thing is that you will need to have your SH, SH blobs saved. Uh, if you do have them saved on your computer, go ahead and find those and then just have them here. Or if you have jailbroken in the past, then you'll be able to get those easily through Cydia from Tiny Umbrella. And I'll actually show you how to do that if you have previously jailbroken before. You can actually download Tiny Umbrella. I have the links down below in the description both for both Mac and Windows. So the way to actually get the SH, SH blobs from your device, you'll simply have to plug it in. And if you have, like I said, if you have already jailbroken before on, on iOS 5.1.1, then most likely the SH, SH blobs will, can be recovered from Cydia. But uh, you can save them through Tiny Umbrella. You simply plug in your device and then you'll open up Tiny Umbrella. And then you'll see on the left side, you'll have your devices. Here's my iPhone 4. And then we'll simply just click on advanced. And then now here in the SH, SH directory, this will, there will be all saved, your SH, SH blob. So go ahead and select wherever you want to save it at. And I'm just going to leave it here. And don't make any changes here on the settings. Just go ahead and go up to the top and hit on save SH, SH. And then they'll be saved to where you actually set the directory to. So if you did save them correctly, they'll simply show up just like this. I have X'd out mine for just my sake. Uh, so you won't actually see my actual number that's usually here. But anyways, now we simply have the SH, SH blob saved. So now we can go on to the next step. Next step is going to be we're going to go ahead and open up Red Snow 0.9.14b2. In my case, simply go ahead and click on extras. Go down to SH, SH blobs. Go into stitch. And then here in IPSW, we'll select our iOS 5.1.1 firmware, aka IPSW, that we downloaded earlier. And then now, once we do click on that, we'll go into local or Cydia. Local, if you have already have the file like we just grabbed from Tiny Umbrella, you can simply hit on local here. Or you can actually just click on Cydia if you have already previously jailbroken your iDevice when you were running on 5.1.1. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Cydia to demonstrate in this video. Now the stitching part will take a while, so just I'll go ahead and fast forward this. Alright, so once the stitching is done, what this actually did is go ahead and stitch the SH, SH blobs to your IPSW, your 5.1.1. So it's basically going to create a whole IPSW for you so it can actually use in iTunes and it will actually show up where you had your original IPSW or your firmware, your 5.1.1 firmware. So go ahead and look for that. So once you do make sure that process did go through correctly, we'll go ahead and go into Pwn DFU and then put into DFU mode now. We'll go ahead and hold down the power button and the home button simultaneously for about 10 seconds and then we'll simply let go of the power slash sleep button but keep holding down the home button for about 7 to 10 seconds and once that is set to DFV mode we'll go ahead and open up iTunes and iTunes here will actually say it's in recovery mode which is good and then now we'll simply hit OK and now we'll actually restore our firmware with the stitched IPSW that we created via Red Snow if you're on Mac go ahead and hold down alt and then click on restore but if you're on Windows go ahead and hit on shift and click on restore 
and then we'll look for our stitched IPSW. The stitched IPSW will actually be where you had your original IPSW saved at. So, for example, if you had it saved to your desktop, then it would have stitched it and everything, and then it will be located on your desktop as well. Now, this will take a bit, so just go ahead and sit back and let iTunes do its thing, and we'll go ahead and fast forward this. Alright guys, so once it is done, you actually get this negative one error, but don't worry about that, that is actually normal. Go ahead and hit OK and then exit out of iTunes. We'll simply need to go back to Red Snow, and then we'll go to Extras, and then we'll go to Recovery Fix, and then we'll simply have to put our device into DFU mode once again by holding down the power and home button simultaneously for about 10 seconds. Then you'll let go of your power button, but keep holding down the home button for about 7 to 10 seconds. So just put in DFU mode. Once you've successfully done that, Red Snow will actually go ahead and do its thing. And now you'll see your device going crazy. And when you do see this matrix code stuff here, if you're kind of fairly new to jailbreaking, then I mean, you this is actually normal. So don't worry about that. And um, yeah, just sit back and let this actually go through. After everything is done, you will now get the setup screen on your iDevice like this. And after setting it all up, we will see that we now have our original Google Maps back and also we have our YouTube app. And just to prove it to you, if I go down to settings, general, about, and we now see iOS 5.1.1 on our device. So that is awesome. So congrats on actually downgrading and yeah so that's gonna be it for this video guys as always hit that little like button and give it a thumbs up to show me that you liked it and if you have any questions or comments leave that in the comment section below and also for future updates go ahead and follow me on twitter and or on facebook i have the links down in the description as well where you can find that and follow me and if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button for future videos like this and other tutorials and reviews on different things and all that good stuff all that tech stuff but anyways guys thanks a lot for watching and i will catch you all on the next one peace